Tell me frankly, how many times have you set the environment variables and still you realize that you are connected to wrong database and you ran a command that you were not supposed to run against the database, right? So is there a way to solve this problem? Like there should be a better way, right? Oracle actually allows you to change the SQL prompt when you are connected to SQL plus and in this video we will be looking at how we can actually creatively play with the SQL prompt so that you never run a query against wrong database. So here I have one database guys and let us check the environment variables env crep aura and we can see that oracle sid is set to test db. Let me connect to the database slash sysdba and you can see the SQL prompt says nothing, you know, even if the environment variables are rightly set, sometimes what happens is in production environment, when you run the environment variable file, the file might not execute sometimes and you connect to the default database that is set in the bash profile. Like I mentioned earlier, Oracle does provide you a way to creatively change this SQL prompt so that it reflects or actually gives you some meaningful information. So how can we do it? Set SQL prompt to double quotes. One of the variables that will help you display to which database you are connected is underscore connect underscore identifier and close this double quotes and hit enter see what happens the SQL prompt is changed to the database that you are already connected now see this guys this is real meaningful information the SQL prompt is actually changed to the database identifier to which you are connected which is interesting right so now going forward when you connect to SQL plus you know which database you are connected and you are confidently running the queries against the right database. Now imagine this guys I want to change the SQL prompt rather than knowing which database I am connected to I would like to know which user I am connected to and this can be achieved by setting the SQL prompt to underscore user space underscore privilege and you simply close this one give a space double quotes hit enter now see the SQL prompt is simply changed to sys as sys dba which is again even meaningful now that is smart way of setting up the SQL prompt to the user with which you are connected to the database or it's a good choice to actually have the connection identifier like which database you are connected to. That's great, simple enough. But how do we set the SQL prompt to something that I want to set? Now imagine this, let's take I want to change the SQL prompt to something completely customized to my likings. How can we do it? You can simply type set SQL prompt to ampersand my prompt and you can simply type whatever prompt you want just hit enter and it will ask you what prompt you want to set to and let's take I want to set it to something like welcome Arun and then I want something like this hit enter and see what happens this time what we have done is we customize the SQL prompt the way we want and guys there is no limit to the customization you can literally customize to anything that you want you probably want to have the date and time in the prompt yes you can have you want to have the prompt something like the username at the connection name on so and so day yes you can have or you can have completely your own custom build SQL prompt that makes sense to your environment or that makes sense to the database that you are connected to. That's simply great, right? So now the question is, Arun, how do we set the SQL prompt back to the original one? You can simply type set SQL prompt and then double quotes, give SQL 
this one double quotes hit enter and you are back to the original SQL prompt. Now this is really interesting guys you know this will really keep you away from making any mistakes because now the SQL prompt will inform you always like which database which user you are connected with right and I hope you guys start using this method of customizing the SQL prompt to your requirements. That's really great and I probably believe that you guys will definitely use or customize the SQL prompt for your requirements but let me show you like how I personally customize the SQL prompt for the production databases that I work on. Whenever I get a production database guys what I tend to do is I set the SQL prompt to something like this. Set SQL prompt and then I'll use this underscore user and then I'll put at symbol and then underscore connect underscore identifier. What I want to know is whenever I connect to the production database, I want to see which user and to which database I am connected to. Can you see the prompt is changed to sys user at test db. Let me try to connect to a different user on the same database and see if the prompt changes or not. Let us connect to AKS Golu and let me give the password. All right, so it says the password will expire within seven days, but that's fine. You can see the prompt is now changed to the username at testdb. Now, can you imagine this is real powerful guys. If you connect to a database and the SQL prompt is telling you which user, which database you are connected to, I think you can reduce the failure percentage of running wrong commands towards a database to probably zero, right? Because the prompt is always telling you, hey, you are connected to this database with this user. This is real powerful. And trust me guys, any environment that I work with, I always tend to at least have the SQL prompts set perfectly for the production databases because this is real important for me. But guys, whatever we have seen till now is session only. That means when you set the SQL prompt, it is set only in the session. How do we make it permanent? We need to set it up into glogin.sql file so that whenever you connect to the database, you literally get the new prompt, right? And remember this guys, one of my previous videos, I did talk about the glogin.sql. Do watch that video. But for now, let us look at how do we permanently change the SQL prompt so that we don't have to worry about changing prompt every time we connect to the database. When you change the SQL prompt like this guys, it is all session only. If I exit from SQL plus and connect back again, can you see the prompt reverts back to the original SQL. Now to make the permanent change, I will have to exit from SQL plus. I will get inside Oracle underscore home slash SQL plus slash admin. This is the location and over here you can check we have glogin.sql. I'll open this file glogin.sql. Go to the end of the file and guess what? I will type in set SQL prompt and then give my favorite command underscore user at and then I want to know underscore connect identifier. Close this one, give a space and our glogin.sql file is ready. Save the file. Let us connect to the SQL plus slash sysdba. As you hit enter, see what happens. SQL prompt is completely changed to the username at the database that you are connected to. Let me exit and connect back again just to make sure that this is not a session level change and this is a permanent change. That's incredible guys. I would like to know from you guys, how creatively can you really modify the SQL prompt? Please put those commands below in this video comments and I would definitely like to see some of the creative ways that you can literally change SQL prompt to a literally meaningful value.